What is up guys, Restless Dude here and welcome back to my Barcelona career mode. We had a pretty good episode last time as we started our Champions League campaign and 5 games later we are set to finish first in our group. And when it comes to La Liga, surprisingly we are on a 15 game win streak. The streak is gonna end sooner or later but that streak is an achievement in itself. In this episode we are set to have 2 big games in La Liga, one against Real Madrid and one against Aleco Madrid. And not just that, we'll be entering the January transfer window, so there's a chance some signings could happen. And we'll also try to play the Spanish Super Cup. So before we get started, help this channel grow by clicking the like on the video and subscribing. That'd be greatly appreciated. So without further ado, let's kick off the first El Clasico of Season 2, at the Camp No. I'm going with my strongest 11, not making any changes whatsoever. Rodrigo, out to Kyle Walker, Brahim Diaz now. Oh, no, 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 don't concede. Come on, get it out. That was a close call. Uh-oh, this is not good. Come on. How is that a tackle? I didn't even press the tackling button. Come on, let's see what happened there. Okay, from this angle it looks like a 50-50. But still, I did not expect to, to get a foul out of that. And of course, Benzema goes the other way. I feel like this is undeserved. I don't think that was a penalty, to be honest. Well, we've got work to do. That's all that, that matters right now. Get the ball away, get the ball away. How did we allow Benzema to get that hair in? That could have been 2-0. Okay, I need some support. Frankie de Jong manages to keep the ball. Lewandowski. It's Javi. It's Lewandowski again. But he shoots straight at Courtois. If only we had more space there. Manderson. Messi. Ansu. It's Gabby. We gotta score this time. How is Courtois saving that? We worked so hard to get into that position and it's... Courtois makes a save there. How? Pedri. Out to Lewandowski. There's this a chance for us. It's now Pedri. Are you serious, Pedri? How could you not keep that on target at the very least? Madrid on the attack again. Oh my god, what did Vinicius just do there? How, how did that happen? We nearly conceded there. Nice Kunde. Okay, that's a foul. Play goes on. Kunde. Out to Wurz. Come on Lewandowski, get into space. First time shot. And it actually goes in. How did Courtois let that in? That was pretty much straight at Courtois. Well, I don't care. We, we get our goal at long last in this Classico. But I'm curious, how did that go in? I thought Courtois had that covered, to be honest. Wait, did it go, did it go through the legs? Yeah, let's look at it in slow motion. Oh no, it was uh, just uh, to the side of Courtois. But yeah, still surprising that we scored from that angle. And we're back in this game, 1-1. Lewandowski, Pedri, what can we do here? Out to Ansu now, can we get the winner maybe? Oh my god, that was so close! I think that, that, uh, that was from us, not a deflection, but we just shot wide. And that's the full time whistle, and our winning streak comes to an end. And of course it had to be Real Madrid to ruin our winning streak. For now, we're gonna quick sim this game against Copenhagen with the second team. Win, lose or draw, we are set to finish no matter what. And the second team still gets the job done, 3-2 win. So that's the end of the group stages and Napoli will be joining us in the knockouts. What about the other groups, Sevilla and Lazio go through, Liverpool going to the Europa League, that's a surprise, PSG and Arsenal go through, Manchester City and Marseille go through, Leipzig and Real Madrid, United and Porto. Bayern and Aleko and Juventus and Gladbach go through. Chelsea finished dead last in their group, even behind Victoria Pilsen. So the knockouts are still a few months away. In the meantime, we have a game against the other top club in Madrid, Atletico. Frankie de Jong. Messi. A finesse shot maybe? Oblak had some work to make that save. Come on. Nice Kunde. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Kunde. Ah, Griezmann gets there first. So annoying. Oh no you don't. Don't it? Oh my god, what are we doing? That was so dangerous right there. 
Petri, out to Ansu Fati. What can we do here? Ah, why is Ansu feeling so slow? Anyway, it's Petri. De Jong. It's Javi. And Javi opens the scoring for us, just seconds before the halftime whistle. A long last, we get the breakthrough we deserve. Took us a while to break through the Aleko press and just break through their defense as well, but in the end, we finally get the goal. Uh oh, come on, Baldi. Ah, Baldi unable to deal with that. Okay, what is this guy doing? How did we allow him to break through us like that? Uh oh, come on, let's get back into the position. Balde. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not good. I do not like where this is going. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. We got let off there. That could have been easily an Aleko goal. De Jong on the run. Can we send Lewandowski through? You know what? First time shot. Oblak had to make a save there. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not good. Uh, I knew they were going to do that. Okay, okay. What? What just happened there? Why did our defense just gave, give the gap, uh, the gap to Jao Felix like that? Why were they splitting up? Uh, are we seriously gonna drop points to another Madrid club? Come on, we cannot draw twice in a row after having 15, after winning 15 games in a row. Pedri. Lewandowski. Back to Pedri. And we're back in the lead. Pedri strikes for us to make it 2-1 against Aleko. Just minutes after Aleko scored. Hopefully we keep the lead this time. Pedri on the run. So is Lewandowski now. You know what? I'm feeling some deja vu right here. And indeed. Lewandowski assisting Pedri once again. And Pedri finds the top corner to make it 3-1. Yeah, we're definitely winning this, winning this game now. There's less than 10 minutes remaining. Uh-oh, this is not good. No, 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 no. Don't concede. Sir Stegen forced to make another save right at the end of the game. And that's the full time whistle. We bounce back from that draw against Madrid with a 3-1 win over Atletico Madrid. And our unbeaten streak at this point continues. Forget the winning streak, unbeaten streak. Now we have a game against Valladolid, which we're gonna quick sim with a slightly rotated team. And we get a 3-0 win. Final game before we enter the January transfer window, and it's against Real Betis. I'm just gonna play the highlights for this game. A true ball for us in the fourth minute itself. Ansu, out to Lewandowski. Lewandowski is true. And he shoots at the near post, surprisingly. I was going, I was trying to go for the far post, but if it goes in, I'm more than happy. Wow, Betis have a penalty, come on. Well, it's up to Ter Stegen now. Gonna go right, and Ter Stegen makes a save. Wow, can't believe I actually guessed that correctly. And immediately we have our attack now. I think I'm just gonna try to cross it in. Verts, it's on Sufari. And it's 2-0. 2-0 within 30 minutes. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna win this game after all. And that's the full time whistle. In the end, it's a 2-0 win for Barcelona. And we have entered the January transfer window. I said in the last episode that we're gonna sign a quality left back, and that's exactly what we're gonna do, especially now that we sold Galan to Manchester United. So these were the left backs I was considering, Malassia, Weindahl and David Raum from RB Leipzig. We could sign Malassia given United signed Javi Gelan from us, Weindahl is also a good option, but then I figured, why don't we continue the trend of signing uh, German players? And Raum himself looks like a decent player, good pace, great stats all around, good defending as well, and his crossing is insane. You know what, let's do it, let's sign another German player to Barcelona. Can we get away with offering 45 million? Let's see. Whoa, they're asking for 63 million. Okay, let's uh, try to counter that with maybe 50 exactly. 50 million. Will that suffice? No, they're still asking for 63 million. Okay, looks like RB Leipzig mean business. Let's try 54 maybe? 
Yeah, the, ten the tension is getting higher and higher. Oh, that actually works. Okay, 54 million is the fee for, for the left back, David Raum. When it comes to wages, I'm going to try offering him 110,000 per week, 300,000 signing bonus. Okay, I was, uh, I was right to offer him an increase in wages. Let's just remove the appearance bonus. If my game will allow me, why am I not able to select counter? Okay, come on. Man, what is going on? Whoa, now he's asking for 135,000. Wow, this guy means, means business. You better deliver on the pitch then, Raum. And with the signing, all our first team defenders are now above the 80 rating. I doubt we'll make any more signings, so let's just get through the month of January. A game against Bilbao, which we're gonna quick sim with our first team. What's gonna happen here? And we still keep winning. 2-0. Ansu and Pedri on the score sheet. Now we have the Supercopa semi-finals against Tenerife. Normally I wouldn't even bar trying to win this trophy, but I wanna go for everything this season, even the smallest cups. A counter-attack for us, what can we do here, Verts? Out to Rafinha, can he make it there? Yes he can, keeps the ball. Rafinha, Rafinha, out to Torres, and Torres gives us the lead. Rafinha with the assist and Torres with a great finish off the post and in. And that's the full time whistle. That one goal from Ferran Torres is enough to get the job done against Tenerife. So the Supercopa final is set between La Liga winners Barcelona and the Copa del Rey winners Real Madrid. We already played Real Madrid and only got a 1-1 draw against them so hopefully this time is different and we can actually get the win. Come on get it away. Wow, Vinicius with a great header, but Ter Stegen with an even better save. Ansu out to Lewandowski, no luck. But De Jong gets the ball back, it's Messi, Gavi. That's a great shot from Gavi, but Courtois with a great save there. Pedri. It's Lewandowski, and Courtois makes a great save. That first goal is coming, it's just a matter of time. Messi. Vanderson, it's Lewandowski, oh come on, why did you go for the near post Lewandowski, go for the far post next time. Now come on, someone stop them please, we don't deserve to concede. Sir Stegen thus is forced to make a save in the end. Pedri, out to Ansu, how is that off target, Ansu, come on, keep it on target. Gavi. Across, uh, the, the idea was there, but no luck though. Gavi, another cross maybe, let's try it. Oh my god! What a, what a goal! I'm absolutely spe speechless right now. Lewandowski just continues to impress me. We gotta see that goal again. What a cross from Gavi there, and what a finish from Le Lewandowski. Let's see that. Wow. I can't believe he actually pulled that off. Normally those uh, scissor kicks in those positions never work, but not on this occasion. Gavi intercepts the ball. It's messy. Out to Lewandowski again maybe? Ah, oh, handball. I thought that was gonna be another goal for Lewandowski, but since I had handballs on, it's not gonna happen. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. We're not gonna let Hazard of all people score against us. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so, Hazard. You're finished. And that's the full time whistle. We drew the first Classico, but not this one. And this one was for the, the Spanish Super Cup. 1 0 win. It took something special to get this win, and it's as special as it gets. A Lewandowski scissor kick. And that's another trophy to add to our collection. And again, it's gonna be Messi to lift a, a trophy for Barcelona. There we go, Messi walking up to the podium, grabbing the trophy. 3, 2, 1, and Barcelona are finally the Spanish Super Cup winners. Yeah, because Barcelona have actually struggled to even win a trophy like this in real life. But not on this occasion. 
Now it's back to La Liga for us. We're gonna quick sim this game against Cartagena with our second team. What's gonna happen here? And it's another win for us. Nico Dembele and Torres on the score sheet. Now what about this game against Tasasuna using my first team this time? And we keep winning. 2-1 win with Burtz and Messi on the score sheet. Just look at our record in La Liga. 21 wins, 1 draw and 0 losses. Not to mention our 15-point advantage over Real Madrid. We're definitely gonna win La Liga for a second consecutive season. And speaking of winning trophies, this is where our Copa del Rey campaign starts. As I said, I wanna go for all trophies this season. Therefore, I'm gonna do the visual sim for this game. I don't wanna risk it with the play highlights feature. And we take the lead in the 42nd minute. Ferran Torres opens the scoring. Oh no, Kedif uh, uh, equalized in the 88th minute. You know what, I'm not gonna risk it, I'm jumping in. Do not even think about it. Come on Christensen, finish the job. No, 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 no! What a save from Peña. I thought we were done there. I thought we were done. Ferran Torres, back to words. Torres again. Okay, I need some support. It's Dembele now? That should have been the winner, Dembele, come on! Why do you have to shoot it straight at the keeper? And that's the full time whistle, we're gonna have to go into extra time. On to Verts now. What can we do here, Verts? Ferran, out to Ansu Fari? And we take the lead in extra time. Ansu Fari comes on for Dembele for extra time and he makes an impact immediately, just 5 minutes after being substituted in. Vanderson, Burtz, Pedri, oh come on, off the crossbar and they get it away. Oh no no no, no 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 no, what am I doing? Please tell me, are you serious? How is that a penalty? I pre I, I'm pretty sure I got the ball there. I swear, if we get knocked out because of a penalty, I'm, I'm gonna be so pissed. Top corner, of course. It may go down to a penalty shootout, and I do not want that. Rafinha. Ferrantoris. Out to Rafinha, come on Rafinha. Rafinha still on the ball, come on. Rafinha. And we've done it! I cannot believe it! Two minutes from time, we actually snatched the win! Credit to Rafinha from dribbling into the box like that. I did not, actually, I did not expect to, for that to work actually, but look at that. Dribbles inside the box around to so many defenders, and luckily Ferran Torres keeps it on target, below the crossbar, and it's 3-2. What a dramatic game. Maybe we'll avoid penalties after all. Pedri just run with the ball. Maybe one more goal for us. Nope. But it doesn't matter, as a one goal advantage is enough for us to secure progress in the Copa del Rey. A much closer game than I would have liked, but to be fair, we did start with our second team. Our next opponent in the Copa del Rey is Granada, and this time I am gonna use a few of my first team players. And I'm also gonna play the highlights as well. Okay, we still have the ball, Vanderson, Pablo Torre, it's Ferran Torres, and Ferran gives us the lead. 1-0 against Granada. In the 34th minute. Let's keep going, I wanna wrap this up as soon as possible. Wow, this is a great chance, there's no way we can mess this up, we just can't. Ferran, out to Messi, and Messi gets on the score sheet. 2-0 against Granada. Yeah, this is going much smoother compared to the game against Cadiz. Counter attack for Barcelona, Gabi. Out to Ansu Fari. What can Ansu do here? Okay, he gets inside. Ansu. It's now Ferran Torres. And it's 3 0. I think th this game is done. Uh, Ferran Torres with 2, Messi with 1. I think this game is done. Let's just jump to result. Because, yeah, you can still jump to result if you're doing the. Highlights, uh, playing the highlights. Well, this is not good. Our first choice right back, Vanderson, picked up a four-week injury. 
Well, at least it's not several months. But this does mean that Bellerin will have to step up. Hopefully he can do a good job. We're on transfer deadline day now, but I'm pretty happy with the squad we have right now. We have a good cover everywhere. Just look at who we have in the quarterfinals of the Copa del Rey. FC Andorra. I think this is the first time I'm seeing them actually. Anyway, we're gonna do the visual sim for this game. Wow, and just like that Dembele opens the scoring. I can't be believe he actually scored like that. He dribbled into the box and finished it off. And it's 2-0. Nico Gonzalez scores a header from a corner. Wow, Andorra actually managed to get a goal back. But I'm still calm. I think we have enough to get the job done. And it's 3-1. Wirtz gets on the score sheet this time. It's 4-1 now. Ferran Torres pretty much seals the game right here. And I think this is the perfect time to just jump to result. And 4-1 is the end result. And it looks like our luck of getting easy teams has run out as we are set to face a local Madrid in the Copa semis. But for now, we're gonna quick sim this game against Villarreal and then we'll call it a day. What's gonna happen here? And it's another win for us. Messi scores in the second minute to earn us a victory. I can't believe we're still unbeaten in La Liga. Quick sims used to be so random where you would even lose to the bottom place team in the league, but that's no longer the case it seems. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. Next episode we'll have the Copa del Rey semis against Aleco Madrid and also the Champions League round of 16. So thank you all for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe if you have not, that'd be greatly appreciated. And as for me, Restless Dude out.